Hey guys, this is Ron Gilak cutting you this video from my home in sunny Southwest Florida. And today in home business, I'm talking to you about something uh, that everybody, every single person goes through um, pretty, pretty often, or at least I do. But this morning, I, I woke up feeling like, man, I don't want to call people. I don't want to follow up with anybody. I don't want to hand out any CDs. I don't want to do this video. I don't even want to get out of bed. I don't want to pull the covers over my head. I mean, I just want to pull the covers over my head, you know? So we all feel like that those, those days. Maybe it's a dark, gloomy day out and you're like, oh, this is definitely one of those days. So this morning when I woke up, when I was in my bed, I could have chose to say, ah, oh, yeah, you know, I'm going to have another one of those days. I'm just going to watch some movies. I'm not going to do, do anything today. But I didn't, okay? Because what I remembered something powerful. I remembered why I'm doing this business. And this is, this is what I want you to do when you feel, uh, like, when you feel exactly how, how I did. And I know you guys feel this too, that you just don't feel like doing it. You know, you just don't feel like it some days. It's like, I, I understand what it feels like when that phone is a thousand pounds. When you're knowing that you're going to call someone and they're not going to answer the phone. Or they're going to say no to you and they're your best friend and they need this. They need it so bad. You know, they need it so bad. And you have the, you're the one that can help them, but they just don't see it. And that's frustrating and you don't want to go through that. You don't want to go through the rejection again and again and again to get to the yes. But you know what I realize is that every leader, anybody who has, has been successful has gone through this. Real leaders like myself and other people experience all the same feelings that you do. We all experience the same thing. We just choose to recognize them as feelings and then move past them. Now I'm being quiet because I want that to click with you. Real leaders experience the same things that we all do. We just choose to recognize them as feelings, set them aside, move past them, and continue to do the little things that we need to do to be successful. Because here's what it is. We don't feel like doing these things, right? Prospecting, talking to people and all those things. But imagine if you had talked to five people every single day over the past 12 months, where would you be today? What would your business look like today? You know? So think about it. Yes, a lot of the activities that, that you do are not directly proportional or directly correlated to producing profit. You know, if you wake up and you spend 20 minutes, you know, reading personal development or reading your Bible, I can't really give you a dollar amount um, on that action, you know, but if I do A, B, C, one, two, three, over time, this is called the compound effect. So if I keep doing the little things that I know I need to do to be successful over time, these things add up and they will create momentum for me in my business. If I had been talking to five people every day, you know, 30 days later, I'll start seeing massive results because it takes some time to fill your pipeline. Now think about this network marketing is already the shortcut. You know, you only have to do the th these things for, for years as opposed to, you know, going to school, then getting a career for 40 years and then maybe being able to, to retire with some crappy pension and a plaque. You know, that's not really life. So this is what we're doing is we're staying consistent, we're staying disciplined, and we're doing the simple activities that we that you know you need to do on a daily basis, even if it doesn't seem like it's making you money, but you've been told that these are the activities, these are the profit producing activities, you need to do them over time, every day, consistently, and you will see results. Okay, so I'm Ron Gilak, and I'm cutting this video to let you know that we all have those same feelings, those depressing, sad thoughts, those feelings of inadequacy, those feelings of rejection, and we choose to recognize those feelings. And we move past them despite that we're feeling, despite how we're feeling anyway, because you have made a commitment. You have made a decision to succeed. So you honor, be a man or a woman of your word. You honor what you have set out to do because the only way that you're going to be able to get what you want is you're going to have to do things that you may have not done already. You know, if you want to get to that next level, you may have to get a little uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable to wake up early and work out and do these activities every single day when I could sleep in for another hour. You know, I might have a really cool dream, you know, but if I want a life that touches, moves and inspires a life of greatness that other people can look at and say, wow, I want that. Wow. I wish I knew what he had. And that's what you should be living towards. That's what you should be trying to do. So if you do these activities, you're going to start to see a change in yourself and others are going to see that change in yourself too. So this is a word of encouragement. And I hope this guy, I hope this message today has helped you to grow in your life in your business. I'm Ron Gilock. For more videos and helpful tips like these, check out rongilock.com. Make it an awesome day and happy Valentine's Day. See ya.